Tonight, we bring you the latest on the race for Kentucky's 2nd Congressional District. Two Democrats are vying for their party's nomination to challenge Republican incumbent Brett Guthrie in the upcoming general election this November. Brennan Crane spoke with the candidates and has more in our top story at 10. Hank Linderman and Dakota Compton are the Democratic hopefuls aiming to unseat Congressman Brett Guthrie later this year. Linderman, a self-employed musician and recording engineer from Grayson County, and Compton, a string orchestra teacher and Plum Spring City Commissioner from Warren County, are no strangers to the political arena. But I think there is a point, and that is to get our own party connected to the grassroots uh, in rural Kentucky and therefore rural America. I feel very confident and I know that having that voice that will hold uh, Brett Guthrie accountable is so needed and, and I have a feeling that people are ready for a new new voice. While both candidates share similar priorities, they differ in their approaches to key issues. Compton identifies as a Bernie Sanders progressive, he says, advocating for tax reform and corporate accountability. I truly believe that it's time that the, the wealthy 1% pay their fair share in taxes, and I believe it's time that we hold corporations accountable for the, the price gouging that we've seen since COVID. Linderman, on the other hand, focuses on his contract for rural America, emphasizing broadband services, support for family farms, and drug abuse prevention. What I say is that it's a mistake to not invest even when you can't win, because you need to have the conversations with people on the ground. You need to understand where people are. Now, both candidates agree on key issues like Medicare for all, raising the federal minimum wage and legalizing marijuana. However, they differ on education reform and energy infrastructure. Mr. Linderman is already telling supporters that he can't win in November, that no Democrat can win. And, and if you have that attitude, that's never going to happen. With the Republican primary uncontested, all eyes are on the Democratic primary, where Linderman and Compton will face off for their party's nomination. The winner there will then face Guthrie in November. Reporting in Warren County, Brennan Crane, WBKO News. Brennan, thank you. Guthrie will not appear on the ballots during the May primary since no other Republicans are running against him. Election Day is May 21st and early voting begins tomorrow.